Hello. I was just gifted an entire SUV full of stuff. So I thought, how fun would it be to go through this with you guys? So um, let's dig in. Let's go. pizza bowler. I don't know. That's just funny right there. Um, I am sure there is a market for Bill. Bill! I don't know. You're cute. We've got some fabulous Las Vegas coasters. Woo -hoo -hoo. These actually might have some value. Got to look those up. Got a cute little um, cup and saucer that is Hughes, Hughes and Brews. So we've got that. It's kind of a Mari colors. Got a five dollar price tag on it. Probably go to the booth. Now what do we have here? We have penguins and killer whale why do i think these are like a sea world thing i think they're coasters but they're still sealed up in their original package so i'm gonna have to figure out what those are <gasps> oh fishy oh it's a uh, salt or pepper and i hope his friend is in here it's tough to do one-handed Oh, there's more of the, okay, there's more of these um, little cup and saucers from uh, Hughes and Brews. Okay, they were all different like colors, so um, really cute. And this is a plaque, Vera Mouse, is what it says on the back there. It's a sunbonnet girl, so that again, a good little booth item. We've got a cow, cow hanger and a dog bowl. Yeah, cow hanger will go down to the booth. The dog bowl probably get donated. I'm going to guess that these are like dog bowls too. I'm not sure. Anybody confirm that that's what these are? I've never quite seen a dog bowl with a lip like that, but why not? My dogs all have to have those slow feeder bowls because they're all piggies. All right, Rubbermaid. Not sure what that was, but it's it's ripped. That'll go in the trash. This is a fabric tablecloth by Essential Home. Hmm. Another booth item. Oh, too bad. These are. These are those lidocaine patches. Can use those on my back for sure, but they expired in 2009. I am brave enough to try one of these and see if they have any effectiveness left in them. What do I have to lose? has a friend. Oh. oh look, there's more tablecloths like those other ones. All all in their original packages. 
Are they all the same? They came from Kmart. Came from Kmart. These things aren't cheap though. If you've ever gone to buy a fabric tablecloth, like even Target, they ain't cheap. They're all, well, they're all different. They're all different shapes and sizes. and pieces of jewelry and baubles and beads. I'll give it a little bit closer look to see if anything, I mean, that's that's just darn cute if nothing else. Um, but I don't think there's anything super special here. What is with the folding sunglasses? More folding sunglasses. I'm going to have to see if that's a thing. We'll see. Let me stay there. Isn't another thing like, what is it? I don't know. It's, I have no idea what this is. It has some writing on it. Let me see. Oh wait. It's like a it's like a pump. Foghorn. Naval Sea System Command. Oh. I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna point it. Wait a minute. I'm trying it. It's not working. Even though it doesn't work, it still might be worth something. Oh. So I'm really excited about this piece. This is a lamp. It is a bohemian cut to clear glass. It doesn't have a shade, but I'm sure I can dig up a shade for this. This right here might be a hundred dollar bill just this alone. Super excited about that. Look at this sweet little cup and saucer. It is not marked, but oh, oh I almost knocked that over. It's so cute. It's just so cute. Sega Saturn. No idea what the value of that is. Something to look up. Oh, decorative burner covers. Check it out, farm. This says peg game. Oh, that's what they are. You ever go to Cracker Barrel? You play the peg games on the table. Actually, my kids will probably dig these. Actually, I might set these up at the dinner table. So while they're waiting, we can play peg games just like down at Cracker Barrel. Some ribbon. Oh, more peg games. It fell out of the box. There's like some old spools. Oh, it's like velvet ribbon and gross, gross, gross grain, gross grain, something like that. Nice. This is old. This is old ribbon. Lewis Ribbon Corporation. So, might be able to do something with that. Here. Oh boy. This is a belt buckle for your silver dollar. You set your own silver dollar or 
39 millimeter stone in there so it's ready to go that's kind of cool this whole thing is filled with vintage linens that i'm gonna have to go through it another time with a couple things mixed in oh my goodness yes that entire box is linens and then there's a an ashtray, a uh, Wittig, Irwy, St. Go I don't know. That's old though. Old, probably German. And then a couple of these are um, made in Italy that, what do you call this? I can't even think of the name. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but I have sold larger trays of this now there's only two coasters so it's probably not worth a whole lot but man, might be five bucks worth there all right this is an old planter in the shape of a, a well pump. There is no maker or anything. Um, it's just a cute little piece. I'll probably take that down to the booth. This box says old bottles. Oh, so yeah, we've got some old bottles, but we've got some insulators, glass insulators in here. November 13th, 1883 patent by W. Brookfield. W. Brookfield. I'll have to look that up. Oh, this is neat. This is a Paul Revere on one side and an Eagle on the other. Old bottle. I don't know if it's an old or a repro. It's by Wheaton. 19, no, that's not a date. I don't know. There we go. But it is a Wheaton, so it should be pretty easy to look up. These are some, just some old, uh, let's see, this one was Pfeiffer Chemical Company of New York. I'm not sure what that held. And this one is... Dr. Price's Delicious Flavoring Extracts. So there you go. Oh! Oh, this one's starting to turn purple. This is uh, E.B. Millar and Company. Not Miller, but Millar and Company of Chicago. So I don't know a whole lot about bottles. Bottles are not my niche, so hopefully I can find information quickly. And this one is prepared by Dr. Peter Farney and Sons Company, Chicago. Kind of a fancy schmancy bottle. Not sure what was in that one, but if you know bottles and can give me some clues, I'd appreciate it. And then this is actually inlaid with silver. See all that silver? Ooh. Some of the silver has, has worn off. It's come off. So I'll probably take this one down to the booth. It's also purple, which is kind of interesting, but it's a neat old glass. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that silver. The silver part has seen better days. All right. Put this stuff back in the box. Keep the bottles together. Got this cool, safe magnetic darts. No, if I can hold it this way. Here we go. Safe magnetic. I think we're going to keep this. 
I think me and the kids are going to play this. That looks fun. And I got room in the family room. And then this is a neat old decanter. It says whiskey. Uh, so that's got some value. That will go down to the booth. Getting to the end. Getting to the end. These are kind of interesting. These are golf ball ashtrays. Probably like a home project. They have like an impressed mark that's totally not readable. Um, but there's a pair of them. Again, Father's Day is coming. I'll probably take these down to the booth. Let those sell in person. check these guys out. They are squirrels. My grandmother had some of these that used to attach to the tree trunk, um, but these don't have the same the hole to attach them to anything. They're just meant to be. And it looks like they were like another little home project. It was signed with some initials on the bottom. Unfortunately, this one's got a chip, so I'll probably take these down to the booth and see if they spark a memory in someone. I'm eating my hair. Like, wind is terrible today. Does not taste good. Okay. Let's see. And last but not least are these pretty copper candlesticks and I can't find any name or anything I thought maybe they'd be like that Gregorian copper um, so I'll clean those up and see if they have any value to list because those would be super easy to ship and we'll try those I am totally filthy now I used to do storage lockers so I'm, I'm used to digging in and getting dirty <laughs> I don't have a problem with it but yeah, I am ready to clean my hands, and it's dinner time here for me, and uh, take a breather, because <laughs> uh, now I got this stuff all spread out around me, and I have to do something with it. So, thank you for going on this little journey with me, and looking at all the cool stuff, and remember, like, this was... This was just given to me, and if you make it known to your friends and your family that this is the business you're in, you'll be surprised what you will end up with. And just take it all. I, like I told her, what I can't use, I'll donate. So if the person's purpose is to clean out some, some junk, um, take it all. Do them a favor. Clean out the junk for them. And uh, with that... Go be profitable and make it fun. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.